Question 8. The equation x cubed take away 3x is equal to 15. It has a solution between 2 and 3. Use a trial improvement method to find this solution. Give your answer correct to one decimal place. You must show all your working. If we are using trial and error, we're going to be attempting diff to put different values of x into the equation to see if we can find the one which is closest to 15. A way to organize this is to draw a table where our first column is going to be the value of x that we are going to try. The next column will be the answer that we get for our calculation. And then we're going to just keep a note of if our answer is too high or too low. Just sketching out a table like this very quickly will help to organize your working out and can clearly demonstrate the progression that you make through the question. So if we know the solution lies between 2 and 3, we could start in the middle. I'm going to go with 2.5. So we're substituting 2.5 into this equation. So we have 2.5 cubed take away 3 times 2.5. This shows all the working out that we're doing. We're going to put this into the calculator. 2.5 to the power of 3 subtract 3 times 2.5, close the brackets, that gives us an answer of 8.125. Now that one is quite clearly far too low. We want an answer of about 15. So we're going to have to try something a bit higher. Now I'm going to guess here and say 2.6 is probably also going to be too small. So I'm going to jump straight to 2.7. You can try anything you want, but try to be logical to reduce the amount of working out you have to do. So if we substitute in 2.7, that's 2.7 cubed, take away 3 times 2.7. Again, we go back to the calculator, 2.7 cubed, subtract 3 times 2.7, close brackets, equals 11.58. We're definitely getting closer, but this is still too low. So it's a good thing we didn't try 2.6, because that would have been somewhere else in the middle of these two values. So we're going to have to get even bigger now and try 2.8. Because we've got much closer, we're going to take smaller steps each time until we find the closest value. So that will be 2.8 cubed, take away... 3 times 2.8. 2.8 cubed subtract 3 times 2.8. That equals 13.552. Again, we're getting closer, but that value is 2 low, so we'll try 2.9. 2.9 cubed, take away 3 times 2.9. 2.9 cubed, nope, not multiply, take away 3 times 2.9, close brackets, equals 15. 15.689. Now this value is too high, so we've found two potential values now to one decimal place. The actual answer is going to lie somewhere between those two values. To find out which one is closer, we could look at the difference between our value and 15 and see that 2.9 is actually closer. Or we could look at the number which is halfway between these two values, which is 2.85. I'm going to show you that method to see 
if 2.9 is actually the closest one. So we have 2.85 cubed take away 3 times 2.85. If I put that into the calculator, we have 2.85 2.85 cubed subtract 3 times 2.85 close brackets is equal to 14.599125 14.599125 which is too low so it shows that the answer has got to be bigger than 2.85 therefore 2.9 is the closest value to one decimal place we can see that with the fact that this is only 6 point 0 0.689 away from 15 whereas 2.8 was nearly one and a half away, so 2.9 is your final answer.